Hello, early June 2025. Still here, still on Mother Earth, watching the planets as they appear to travel around us, reflecting back what's going on on Mother Earth. This tremendous change that we on planet Earth have been going through since before the pandemic, with all of our structures and systems slowly collapsing, with a whole new way of governing and dem demonstrating power and control from our leaders slowly manifesting this year as Pluto moved into Aquarius. Now we're seeing this very, very rare energy of Saturn and Neptune sitting conjunct at one degree of Aries. And during the month of June, Jupiter is going to enter Cancer Mercury is going to be conjunct Jupiter as it enters Cancer. They both enter Cancer. At one degree, they will square this conjunction of Saturn and Neptune. Jupiter enlarges everything it touches. This is going to enlarge the energy of Saturn and Neptune conjunction. We'll see this energy uh, kick into manifestation. This conjunction, June 9th, continuing through June 18th, we see first the two become conjunct, shifting into the new sign of Cancer. Very emotional. Cancer is the sign of emotions and feelings. It's the sign of patriotism, nationalism. My country first. And Jupiter going into Cancer is going to stir that energy up even more than it's been manifesting in recent times. So if from an extremely emotional standpoint, this Jupiter energy is going to trigger this Saturn-Neptune conjunction that is starting now and will continue for the summer months, three months. Saturn symbolizes all of our structures. The <laughs> group the collective structures, our systems of government and structures with our health systems and our educational systems and our justice systems. Every country has these in place and these are symbolized by Saturn. Neptune dissolves what it touches. So for the next three months we can see a great deal of dissolving taking place with what seemed to be very strong and in place as a solid structure possibly for many, many years. Be that borders. When Saturn and Neptune have been conjunct in the past, not in the sign Aries, but in another sign, we have seen the country of Russia go through huge change in their governmental strength where we would see the collapse of one government and new people coming into power. And this is the type of thing we may very easily see while Saturn and Neptune are conjunct. But this is going to trigger it, this very rare energy of Mercury conjunct Jupiter entering Cancer, perfect 90 degree square with this conjunction. And this takes place June 9th. All this is happening just as Uranus is getting very, very close to leaving Taurus and moving into Gemini. Uranus is all about change, which is the great theme for all of us for this period of time. Since before the pandemic, we have been looking at our structures collapsing and coming apart. The death of the old way of living and the slow birth of a whole new way of being. This change, this new birth, really kicks into being after Uranus moves into Gemini. But as it's leaving Taurus, which is through the month of June, first week of July, as this energy of the square is triggering the Neptune-Saturn conjunction, this is as when Uranus is slowly leaving Taurus and moving into Gemini. Big changes. Volcanoes, earthquakes, Mother Earth, Dramatic change. Uranus can indicate the kind of change that's like a collapse. So a collapse of the financial system, a collapse of the Earth itself. These are very strong probables while this is going on during the month of June. When we look at Donald Trump's chart, 
since he seems to be one of the key players at this time in history. Neptune and Saturn are conjunct in his eighth house. This is where they are traveling. Take note, of course, where the Saturn-Neptune energies conjunct are traveling in your chart. I assume you've done so by now. In the eighth house, this energy is going to be focused on other people's money. Life and death matters and other people's resources and money. And what's happening here is this energy of Jupiter and Mercury conjunct from the 9th, 10th to the 17th of June. This is when this energy for Donald Trump enters his 11th house. It changes houses. Jupiter and Mercury. Jupiter's going to enlarge and give all of its energy focusing on 11th house things for him. And this occurs just after his big parade. So all of this huge Jupiter blowing everything up large, conjunct Mercury happening. This incorporates the big parade that Donald Trump is organizing for himself, <laughs> to celebrate himself. Hmm. This will be part of this enlarged Jupiter energy. But as this enters the 11th house, it's also when he is visiting the G7 in Canada. This being the house of friends and who we work with for common causes, there may be a large demonstration of friendship or a large demonstration of some proposal or other that he may come up with during this period as well. When Jupiter and Mercury are at the first degrees of Cancer, which again is between the 9th and the 17th of June, this energy will square Saturn and Neptune, but Saturn. And this would be very, very difficult time to make any investment. We would expect think, the value of the dollar to go up and down, and this possibly would include the cryptocurrencies. Extremes. If we think we have been seeing extremes with change and changeable energies and no steadiness, no consistency, it's going to get even more so during this period. Another very important thing to take note with Donald Trump's chart, as the square is taking place for the world between Saturn and Neptune and Jupiter Mercury, he also will have Uranus squaring his ascending sign. And at the same time, Mars will be moving into his first house conjunct the ascending sign. This is a great deal of focus on Mars energy with Uranian energy activating it and triggering it. So this could be some danger to his person or all of that explosive Mars aggressive energy is going to come from him and he's going to be on the <laughs> path of aggression, shall we say. But it will manifest impulsively in bursts because this is Uranian energy. A very interesting month. Take care. And be prepared for tremendous change in our lives when Uranus actually makes the change into Gemini. Hasn't been there since the 1940s. And the last time, of course, Uranus went into Gemini in the 1940s, we were looking at World War II issues. Major change is coming towards us. So all of the change to date has just been preparation. Take care.